Welcome to another video by DJ's PRC. Today I wanted to show you how to remove your rear diff out of an X-Max from Traxxas. Traxxas did one thing on this vehicle compared to the other vehicles they have uh, that to remove a differential out of it is pretty, it's pretty simple. A couple of steps here. Uh, one of the steps we're going to do is remove uh, the wheels itself. They're 17 mil. Physical nut is 17. And usually what I do, I, I'll place one of the tires underneath the vehicle itself. That way, what that does, it supports the vehicle. Pretty much any vehicle that I will work on, uh, basically this is what I'm going to do. See if this way right here, right now, your vehicle is not sitting on the table. <clears throat> now, one of the steps you'll need to do is remove these two screws on this side here. And you'll notice there's two more here. These guys, you don't need to move. Now, again, if it's the first time you do this, Just remember where these screws go. Now this will pop off. Now we're just going to leave it that way. And we're going to flip the vehicle around. Now for this part, you don't need the tire underneath. You'll have four screws here to remove. Now, this, it will come out of this side right here. It's keyed. But again, to be able to re-put it back in, you'll be able to just go ahead and here you go. And push this part aside. Remove a little bit of dirt. Now we're going to flip the vehicle back up and I might try to put two tires underneath to try if I can show you guys a little bit better. Now to be able to remove the diff, you'll have one screw here, then there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. And the other thing too, what I'm going to try to do here. Try to remove a little bit of light because it's a little bit bright in here. There we go. Remove this one right here. Pop this one out. Compared with Traxxas other vehicles, sometimes you, you need to remove uh, half of the vehicle to have access to the diff. But not on the X-Max. On the X-Max itself is, like I said, it's six, six screws to remove the rear plate here. Once you have the plate in your hands, You'll notice even then the diff came out, you just physically pull on it and you have your diff in your hands. Now to be able to reinstall it, same procedure, just remember what side this came out. Because if you do pull it on this, put it in this side, basically what's going to happen is <laughs> your front will go back forward and your back will go backwards. 
instead of both going forward if you miss this step up that's why it goes back this way again pop it back in both ways Just make sure it's seated correctly in the bulkhead itself. Then reapply this. Bolt up your four screw, six screws here. Ah, uh, five screws here, sorry. And then put your plate back and your, two, your bolts here. If you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you guys. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.